Hey guys, it's Kirsten uh, with some more nonfiction tips, especially for picture book biographies. I've been critiquing a lot of picture book biographies lately, and I see some of the same things over and over. So I thought um, I would address some of them in some videos to hopefully help you guys out. Um, so one thing I see frequently in picture book biographies is I see writers use a lot of summary, um, which is fine in some parts of picture book biography. But when it's a really pivotal um, scene for your character's journey, the better way to write this would be to write it as a scene. And in a scene, um, you can, to think about a scene, picture your favorite movie and um, think about narrating the action of the characters and what they're doing minute by minute. In a scene, the action unfolds um, for the reader just like they're writing a movie. So you're experience, experiencing it along with the main character. So I'm going to show you exactly um, what I'm talking about. We're going to look at um, Laurel Snyder's fantastic book, The Swan, um, which is by Chronicle. Um, and we're going to start with the very first scene. So it goes like this. The city is big. Anna is small. The snow is everywhere and all around. But one night, Anna Slay slips up the street. Her face is cold. The world is dark. Mama smiles. Then, ah, the lights, the lights. Something is happening. There's a swell of strings, a scurry of skirts, a hiss and a hum and hush. It's all beginning. The story unfolds. A sleeping beauty opens her eyes, and so does Anna. Her feet wake up. Her skin prickles. There is a song suddenly inside her. Now, if Laurel Snyder had wanted to summarize this scene, she could say, in whatever year Anna Pavlova went with her mom to the theater and saw Sleeping Beauty and decided she wanted to be a dancer. That summary. That tells us exactly what happened. But Laurel Snyder has built a scene. We experienced the whole process alongside Anna. So um, the key thing about a scene is normally there's some, court of, some sort of change in your main character um, from the beginning to the end of the scene. It's almost like a mini, uh, a mini movie or a mini book. So in the beginning, you know, Anna feels small in a big, big world. Um, she, you know, she doesn't really feel important or moved. But by the end of the scene, she's experienced this action and she's woken up, her feet suddenly want to dance, and she kind of begins to have a glimmer of her place in the world. So the one key thing with the scene is that there has to be a change in your character from the beginning to the end. They have to realize something um, about themselves or about their journey. Um, so that's one critical thing. And the way that they do that is um, through the minute-by-minute -minute action of the scene itself. So let's talk about how you build that minute-by-minute -minute action. So there are a few things you can do to help yourself remember to write in scenes. One thing um, is to picture your story like a movie and try narrating what the movie that you're seeing in your head. That will help you narrate it like a scene as you write out those different actions that your character is doing. Another idea is even if you're going to eventually write in past tense, you could try writing in, in um, present tense. That gives your writing more immediacy and you're more likely to use minute by minute action. Another thing to think about is um, adding sensory details um, from all your five senses, not just visually. So um, Laurel Snyder does a great job with this. So she talks about um, her face is cold. So that's something that she feels. That's her, her sense of touch. Um, obviously, she does a great job with the the visual, what, what Anna sees, the lights, um, the swell of strings, that's a sound. So sensory detail really helps put the reader in the scene so they're experiencing it minute by minute instead of just summarizing the action. Um, so where do you get this level of detail to write a scene? Well, this is where you have to go back to your research, and this is where uh, first-person accounts, autobiographies, letters, um, interviews are very helpful because that's going to give you the, the type of detail that you need to write this minute-by-minute -minute action. 
Another way to get this level of detail is to do some contextual research. So for example, um, if I were Laurel Snyder and I were writing about Anna Pavlova, I would um, hopefully be able to see some pictures of the theater um, or read some descriptions from some other people of the theater so I had an idea of what it would look like. Um, I could find out what music uh, accompanied Sleeping Beauty. I could listen to it and that would allow me to put in that detail about the swell of strings. So if you can't get the level of detail you need from your actual main character, then you might need to do some contextual research so that you have that level of detail and you can um, build that scene. So, um, to, in summary, summarizing is great for some parts of your picture book biography, but for those really pivotal moments um, where your character is experiencing a major change um, or a major shift, consider writing in a scene so that the reader experiences that change right along with your reader.